1910, Bilio, the tallest man in Ethiopia, was discovered by Emperor Haile Selassie in October 1934. Bilio became Basha Balahu when the Noya and Hamaric tribes found it difficult to pen down his name. Balahu was captured and sent to the Supreme Court of Addis Ababa for his involvement in what some describe as love-related dispute that turned violent, resulting in the death of a rival. Who would have thought that a man with such an enviable height would be fighting another man over a woman? Due to his exceptional height of 7 feet 5 inches, he caught the attention of Emperor Haile Selassie, who later decided to free him as the judge of the Supreme Court. Balahu was appointed as the imperial umbrella carrier of the Lion of Judah and also promoted to the position of a drum major of the imperial fanfare. With his commanding presence and rhythmic drumming, Balahu became a core part of the musical ensemble, adding to the gloriousness and spectacle of imperial event. Emperor Haile Selassie speaks about him in his autobiography titled My Life and Ethiopia's Progress. In 1935, the Italian army, led by Benito Mussolini, invaded Ethiopia. Emperor Haile Selassie, also known as the Conquering Lion of the tribe of Judah, had to flee the country and seek refuge in French Somaliland, leaving behind Balahu. Unfortunately for Balahu, Fortune brought in a boat that could not be stirred. He was captured, imprisoned, and ultimately executed in 1936 in Ethiopia. The Italian tribunal condemned him on charges of being a spy and a gang robber. These charges were part of the Italian forces' attempt to suppress Ethiopian resistance and assert their dominance. Balahu's execution by an Italian firing squad, Nadis Ababa, remains a haunting reminder of the brutality and injustices suffered by the Ethiopian people during the Italian invasion. His tragic end symbolizes the sacrifices made by countless Ethiopians who bravely resisted the foreign invaders and fought for their independence. The story of Balahu captures the resilience and the sacrifice of the Ethiopian people during one of their darkest periods. But the million dollar question, how can a man standing at seven feet, five inches, be accused of being a spy when he can be spotted anywhere in the world? Your guess may be as good as mine. The Italians were merely threatened by Balahu's exceptional height. What do you think?